All right, we're going to go ahead and get started tonight. appreciate everybody being here for our midweek uh, service. have a couple of announcements. First, our brother Eddie Bull uh, left today. I guess he's already on the way uh, on over to Romania. So we definitely want to be praying for him over the next couple of weeks as he is doing the Lord's work over there. Also, uh, Sandra Wright sent this to Mark. Uh, Jack Wright did well with his surgery today. And hopefully he will come home later this week. So please c- continue to remember him in your prayers. Now, yes. Eddie is actually still in Atlanta. Okay. The airplane working on it. Two uh, and a half hours late. Yeah. Ocean, the ocean, the wow. Goodness. Yeah. I think I'm pretty good on land over here, but you know. Uh, so definitely want to continue to remember uh, Eddie in his travels. Also, the, tomorrow the third Thursday class will be taking place at 10 o'clock, so remember that if you are a part of that class. Tonight we'll be doing our, our third Wednesday night singing, so we're just going to do it like we normally do, where we'll start with me and then we'll just kind of work our way around, and uh, we'll probably, any guy who wants to sing two or three songs will probably have that opportunity, and then I'll finish up with a, a short devotional thought at the very end. Alan's going to come lead us in an opening prayer. And then I will lead us in our first song. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we're thankful for you. Thank for the time that we have to be together. Holy Father, there are so many things going on in our lives today. So many things. We're running around busy. We often lose sight of what's really important. Father, pray that tonight we take the time as we're singing together and worshiping you to remember what actually is important. Our relationship with you, our relationship with each other, and the coming back of Christ. Father, pray that we're doing everything in our lives to make ourselves prepare for that moment. Pray that we're putting our faith in you. We're relying on you and your word and on our community that we have here. Father, we're very mindful of those who couldn't be here tonight. You know their needs. You know their, their situations. Pray in the meantime, before we see them again, that we would be your hands and feet to reach out to them, show them that we love them, we care about them, to remind them that we're a community bonded by love and the sacrifice of your son. Holy Father, tonight we pray as we sing to you that you're proud of who we are, that we would edify one another, we, we would glean from your word and the encouragement we give to each other. Praising, praising Jesus' name, amen. I love to tell the story of unseen things above, of Jesus and his glory.
of the fullness of his love. Perfect rest in me is promised in my Father's house above. When my spirit clothed in mortal wings is flying to realms of day, this my song through endless ages, Jesus led me on.
ago I was sitting on my recliner in my man cave and I look over to my right and Mila is laying down watching her iPad and she has a bag of chips by her feet and I watched that girl take one of her feet stick it in the potato chip bag grab a chip with her toes pull it to her mouth and eat it just so she could have as little movement as possible and I'm going to be honest I cried a little when I saw that because uh, that was the proudest I've ever been of her. Uh, that was just incredible. Because Sims, we Sims are known for two things, trying to ex exert as little movement as, as possible and flexibility, and she showed both of those in spades that afternoon. But you see, there's no doubt in my mind where she got that from. I can't argue. I can't argue who she got that from, just like Megan can't argue when, where she got it from when she lays on the bed and screams, Daddy, I need a drink. She clearly got that from Megan because she does that debate, basically, uh, on a continuous basis throughout the day. Um, but here's the thing that we need to understand from this idea. People are watching, especially children are watching, whether you know it or not. And they're especially watching when you really don't think anybody's watching. So the question I want you to ask yourself this morning or tonight is what are they seeing? What are they seeing when they watch you when you don't think anybody else is watching? You know, Paul said he, wants you to, he wanted them to imitate him as he imitated Christ, right? Paul said, look at me. I want you to imitate me because I know I'm imitating Christ. Do we see ourselves in that statement? You know, Mila did that because she's seen a pattern with me. She's seen a pattern of laziness and an obsession with potato chips. And so she imitated that act. Lord, I hope and pray that she sees a pattern of a love of Christ and a dedication to live more and more like him every day. And I hope that she tries to imitate that on a daily basis. Because that's the dream, right? The dream is that people imitate us as we imitate Christ. So again, I ask you tonight, what do people see when they're watching you? Just a thought for you to ponder tonight. Whatever your need is tonight, I really hope you're comfortable coming forward and, and and asking for whatever you need because that's what this family here is for. Whatever you need, please come as we stand and sing.
everybody coming out tonight and I really hope that you'll take your time to encourage these men that have led singing especially the young men as I know it takes a lot of courage to get up here and do that and we want to continue to encourage them to keep doing so let's close with a prayer and then we'll whoop. next two announcements Alicia Myers requested prayer uh, she meets with her surgeon tomorrow we're scheduling uh, high permanent surgery next week sometime and also can he definitely wants to remember those two situations uh, going forward. So let, let's, let's pray. Dear God, Father, we're just so thankful, Father, for another opportunity that we have to come and to gather together as Christians. Father, we just thank you for the church that you have given us, that we are to, to use this church to lean on each other, to, to encourage each other, to share our burdens and to bear one another's burdens. Father, we just thank you for this gift you've given us. We thank you so much for your son, Jesus. We thank you, Father, for the opportunity that we've had tonight to sing praises to your name because you are so worthy of every song that we sang tonight. We love you, God. We ask you to keep us safe throughout the rest of this week. It's in Christ's name we pray. Amen.